in world time. Women's 200. Who is the favorite in the women's 200? Yeah. I think I think it's Gabby Thomas. Is it? Yeah, it should be Gabby Thomas. Yeah, I I she was on. I mean, you're talking about running 21.6. Uh, I know that track was fast, and I know she doesn't have that experience. Um, I I think it's Gabby Thomas. I, I would feel pretty confident putting some cash down on Gabby Thomas right now. I think she's on a whole different level. This race was such a dud today. I I like. I don't know what why it was so slow. Why Monaco? Did they put syrup on the track? Like I just so many races were slow today. I don't know. Like I I, I honestly am like a, a little. That's kind of why I came on saying I was disappointed. Like the distance races were fine. And but the sprint races were so slow, like 22, 23. What what place would that have been at the trials? Like seventh? Yeah, well, I mean, I forget where, where everything was, but like that time is so slow based on what we saw in Eugene. And and I know it was a different race. Um, but yes, I know Thomas has given up tons of experience. But if this is what a field of Miller Weibo, Talu, Fraser Price is gonna put down, Kambunji, who's a medalist, um, I I haven't seen anything close to as good as as what Gabby Thomas has done. I think she's the favorite. Okay. okay. First of all, one thing I've learned after you know analyzing these sprinter events over the past few years is that like you got to look past the times. Like, yes, you're like, Whoa. well, Gabby Thomas runs twenty one six. She beats this field by almost a full second. You know, and yeah. when you look at Gabby Thomas's resume, her resume is just a time. It's not a resume of beating Miller Weibo, of beating Fraser Price, Fair. of beating Thompson, of beating Talu. That's why I'm starting to think that like maybe low key Miller Weibo should be the favorite due to her experience, and that she is collecting some wins against some more impressive individuals versus Gabby Thomas, who has an impressive win against the clock. But also that she her she has impressive. Win. I mean, she beat who got uh, Neva Battle to mar- like and Jenna Pernini. Battle, they're yeah. great, but like we are, we're kind of putting some rose colored glasses on our own trials, and justifiably because they ran a fast time. But has Gabby Thomas raced Miller Weibo this year? Or Shelly and Fraser Price. Gabby or, Thomas's situation has been weird because Thompson? last year you remember she meant she had that like suspension for a little bit. Obviously, last year was mostly lost to the pandemic, but she had that like whereabouts confusion last year, and she wasn't a top tier athlete back in 2019. So this is Gabby Thomas's really coming out party. So no, she hasn't. I just think back up. Okay, Miller Weibo wins today. Historically, you know, I know she's she won the Olympic gold in the 400 in 2016 but in other times you know she's she hasn't she always hasn't always lived up to the hype in in uh championship races she ran fast in doha but got second i just think thomas is she's clearly in her best event miller Weibo's best event maybe the 400 she's not even running that at the at the olympic games uh you've got son or shelly and fraser price clearly better in the in the hundred i i just look at it as Gabby Thomas, a 200 meter runner for sure. And she's running 21 six. Yes, she's unproven, but she's also an NCAA champion, a US champion. I, I know the Olympics are a different beast, but I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I think if she can just stay in her lane, obviously a big cliche, she should beat everyone. I think she's way fitter than anyone else in the two right now. Um, She's given up tons of this, experience, but I think she's going to look at this. Yeah. If you look at this screen right now, Shelly and Fraser Price ran 21.79 at the Jamaica Trials. Yeah. And she just got beat by two athletes in uh, Tolu yeah, and um, Miller Weibo. Like, I just think that we may be kind of like, I'm going to say this. I have a feeling that. I could see Gabby Thomas saying, I could see, I'm not going to predict this right now, but I'm going to kind of, uh, we'll see. Here it is. I'm, I'm making a predicting. Here, you ready for it? I think. Yeah, I'm ready for your prediction. A Jamaican, 
either Jackson or Fraser Price wins the 200. I think Miller Weibo gets second. I think Gabby Thomas gets third. Okay. Gabby Thomas Saying third. It, Man, I will be surprised if that is the result that happens. I do, I do I don't think you go from running 21-6 to running uh to getting bronze. But, you know, experience matters. Um well, can you see Shelly and Fraser Price going from running 21-7 to getting third in this Monaco race? Cuz that's what happened. Yeah. Um she here's the thing though. Fraser Price also like had a bad hundred a couple days ago, if I'm not mistaken. I'd I'd have to know exactly what it was, but you know, one Shelly and Fraser Price more of a hundred runner, but Fraser Price uh, had a had a pretty rough race recently in the hundred. So maybe something. I'm not saying she's injured or that she suddenly lost fitness, but uh, I don't think it's just we can obviously use the transitive property to talk about look at Shelly and Fraser Price, what she's run, and then now look at where she's finishing to suggest that that would necessarily happen with uh, with um, with. The, Gabby Thomas. So um now that we've got it on the background, yeah, that she ran they ran this race uh and she got second for Fraser Price. There we see it to uh her countrywoman Thompson. Um and she still ran in the 10 eights. That is Shelly and Fraser Price. So it wasn't a horrible race, but you know, Fraser Price, we're used to seeing her in the 10 sevens. Um, so maybe not just maybe it's not quite there right now. Maybe that was the story today. I I you know. It could be, it, it is always a challenge after you get up for the trials um, to come back and go to the Olympics and still be on that same form. We've seen that with the, you know, a similar circumstance with the NCAA athletes. They go to NCAAs, run these crazy world-class times, and then they fall flat at the trials. I think of uh, who is the the young woman who won the hundred and the two at, at NCAAs from North Carolina a and uh, You know, Sturgis. she fell flat. Sturgis, Cambry Sturgis like a clear favorite to make the team in, in the two. And then, you know, d- d- I think doesn't even make the final in the one. And then, and is, is has a rough day in the two. So like it can be tough to carry that fitness. Um, so I could see that for Gabby Thomas, but um, I don't know. I, I, I think I, I, I'm just, she's just at a such a high, such a different level with this new coaching now that she's under, um, uh, the coach Buf- Tanya Bailey Buford in at, in Texas. I just I don't know. I think she's on a different level, and I, I I I think she's things are looking good for her based on today's result. I think there's a chance Gabby Thomas could be the equivalent of a 12 and 0 Boise State team that wins every game by 40 points. They're 12 and 0. Wow, and they're about to go to a bowl game and go up against a 10 and 2 Alabama. You now can't they could hide win. like that in track, though. Yeah, but you, you can't hide. You, you I mean, the win. times are the times. Yeah, times are the times, but not not always. Times aren't always times. People have yeah. one off performances all the time. You see people who, who with the better seasons best lose all the t- all the time. So with the uh, 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 inferior seasons best, I just think that I one I wish she was in this race because she was supposed to be in this race and she isn't. So I'm guessing she's making the same decision, like, hey, stay home, don't travel, g- keep the legs as fresh as possible, which I respect. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything nefarious or anything like, oh, trying to dodge competition or anything like that. But I do think her resume is perfect, but also not – there's not a lot of individuals that she's beat. She has a lot of good times, mm-hmm. not necessarily good individuals. And I think in sprinting, it's not just about time – you gotta show that you can. You gotta show that you can beat someone in a slow race, or you know. So again, I think Gabby Thomas. Tactical I want her 200. to win as an American. Yeah, yeah, tactical two hundred. I want her to win as an American, but taking away that bias, the American bias. I do think it's. We shouldn't be overlooking these established vets like Miller, Weibo, Fraser Price, Thompson, Hurrah. No, yeah, and but two. That's all I got to say. It's going to be a good good women's 200. I know a lot of people are saying it. Um, I'm excited for that. Listen, there needs to be, uh, I think, a young American star will emerge in the flat sprints uh, at the at the Olympic Games. Obviously, we thought it was going to be Shakari Richardson. Not going to be that case. Perfect opportunity for, for Gabby Thomas. 
uh, to to kind of steal the show as far as the U.S. women's sprints are concerned. Um, I know McLaughlin is going to be holding it down in the hurdles uh, as far as the young star, but I, I think Thomas is ready to take some of that that spotlight that, that Richardson would have had, and I think she's. I, don't, I, I just really think she's ready for the moment. The times were so good that I don't. I'm not worried necessarily about who, who she has or has not beaten. 